Hi, I'm Jim Brickle from Ed Learn Ford Lincoln, and this is getting to know your 2023 Bronco Sport Badlands. This is an orientation for new vehicle owners to help you get familiar with where all the controls are located. So I'm here in the driver's seat, and as we look to our left on the driver door, you'll see the power locks plus the numbers 1, 2, 3. That is for your programmable driver's seat. So use the controls on the side of the chair, move the chair where it's gonna be most comfortable for you. Push the number one uh, to lock in the first position, hold it until you get a long beep. Your power mirrors, your power windows, and to the left of the steering column, you can open the back hatch, your headlamps, and right now I've got it set with the A for the automatic um, lighting position. It'll come on when it gets dark and shut off when you shut off the engine. On your turn signal, you also have your lane centering. And to the left of the steering column, you have a variety of controls for adaptive cruise control, your uh, stereo volume, and it is a push button start. So foot on the brake and hit the engine start button. Now, you'll turn on your cruise control. And this button here, when pushed, is changing uh, the distance. You want to stay behind the vehicle in front of you while driving it with adaptive cruise control. The next one down looks like a steering wheel in the center of a couple of lanes, and that is, in fact, your lane centering. Now, that is applicable when you've got adaptive cruise control on. So you'll see the indication right here. And when lane centering is on, you must signal for your lane changes. Otherwise, the steering wheel is going to start vibrating as the vehicle wants you to stay in the lane you're in. So if you may have inadvertently activated it, because it is very easy to do with where your hand location is, um, and the steering wheel starts vibrating, don't come into service, check if uh, you do have that feature on, in which case it's probably why the steering wheel was vibrating. So to turn it back off, you hit that button, it closes it out from there. Turn cruise control off. And when you are using cruise, you can set the speed. And RES is for resume. The ones below your stereo volume up and down and mute. On the right hand side of the steering wheel, we've got back, OK, menu, our voice activation, and seeking to the next station when uh, the radio's on or answering or hanging up on a call uh, once you've got a phone paired. So Right now, this is what we refer to as our comm screen. Shows minimal information, shows the speed, uh, shows your distance to empty, and we have the speed sign um, recognition on, so it knows that in the parking lot here, it's 15 kilometers an hour. Now, as we go down, it's changing our display. So there's fuel economy. There's seat belts. No one's wearing them right now. We're not going anywhere. Audio is off. Back to the comm screen. When you hit menu, you can change the settings. So if you hit OK, you can look at your oil life. Hit OK, percent, 100 percent, because it's a brand new car go back, we go back, down one, display setup. 
uh, there's where you can put it on um, speedometer and miles per hour as opposed to kilometers per hour. So you're hitting the OK and that will switch between the two of them. We go back, we go back, and now we're back to our uh, comm screen. We hit the menu. And as we go down, we can select the screens that are going to be coming up. So if you want to display for seat belts, eh, maybe not. How about the auto stop start? What's playing on the radio? Com screen, fuel economy. So you can pick and choose what information is going to be helpful to you. And then when you go back, so now we're showing trip one, engine on and normal operation for the auto start and stop. Audio is still off, comm screen. So it's all a matter of the information that you want displayed at any given time. Now from there you can also go down put your audio, navigation, phone, your settings. So all of that is controlled using the up and down. Now we come to our center screen. So up top we have home. So this is our home screen. It shows a little bit of the map and where we're located, whether the stereo is on or off, and where you can add your phone. A uh, little hint when it comes to clocks, just tap right on the clock if you need to adjust it. You can choose the 24-hour mode, you can have automatic daylight savings time, and you can have an automatic time zone update. So with the automatic settings in there, when it comes time to move the clock ahead or back, it's taken care of automatically for you. Drive into a different time zone, it's automatically switched. And if you did want to change it manually, you can just hit the up or down for the minutes and the up or down for the hours and change the AM or PM. Back and we're back to our home screen. Across the bottom, we have audio. You can shut off the audio from there. Phone, navigation. Now with the navigation, you can search by typing in. So you can enter an address, POI for points of interest, intersection, history, where you've gone before, you can program in a home address, a work address, some favorites, points of interest. So for example, as I started typing in Ed Learn, it came up with the rest of it, Ed Learn Ford, 375 Ontario Street. So you would naturally want to save that as a favorite, so you would tap a star and it saves the favorites. So now on the uh, favorites, we could set up a home in a similar fashion, set up work, and Ed Learn Ford is right here. We go back. Um, when it comes to navigation, when you're in motion, you want to be using voice activation. So, on the steering wheel, on the right hand side, you've got this button here. When you push that, find a place. Searching nearby, please say the name of the POI. Ed, learn, Ford. Please say a line number, or say, none of those. Two. Please say a line number, or say, none of those. One. When ready, press the voice button, and then say, set as destination. Set as destination. Setting new destination. Obey traffic laws, be alert, and use voice commands while driving.
Please proceed to the highlighted route and then the route guidance will start. So the start is the uh, red flag. The finish is the checkered flag. It's uh, 60 meters away. It's 405 now and by 405 we should be there. So that seems like a silly destination to have to program in. So if you change your mind, Cancel route. Canceling route. So whether you say route or route, the car knows what you're talking about. And when you've saved some favorites, when you're driving in those areas, they will show up on the map with the uh, star right there. And then of course, you can go back to the home. You've got apps, find a device, find mobile apps, Sirius XM travel link, and then you've got settings. So sound, clock, Bluetooth, phone, driver assistance. So now, cruise control. This has normal, adaptive, and intelligent. Right now I've got it set for adaptive, so you set the speed and the distance to stay behind the vehicle in front of you. With normal, you're setting just the speed, not the distance to stay behind. And intelligent, you can program in if you want to stick with the posted speed limit, if you want to go a little bit over. Lane keeping alert, pre-collision, speed sign recognition. So if you're not sure what any of these things mean, you can hit the I over here and it'll give a little explanation. So configure lane keeping alerts, settings to your preferences, see owner's manual to turn on or off. You can scroll down, blind spot information, trailer sway control. I don't have a trailer on right now, so I'll shut that one off. If you were towing a trailer, you can shut off the reverse park aids. But right now I don't have a trailer, so it's probably best to leave them in the on position. Cross traffic alert. When you're backing out of a parking spot, the vehicle is actually looking sideways and will notify you if someone is approaching from either direction. Scroll down to the bottom and we've got driver alert. If the uh, vehicle feels that you're driving a little bit erratically and maybe you're not paying full attention, a picture of that coffee cup will display in your main, uh, in your center stack. Uh, giving you the hint that maybe you want to pull over, have a cup of coffee, you get a little refreshed before continuing on with your journey. Ford Pass Connect, that's a very important one. So you want it to get things set up on your phone. Get it paired to the vehicle so you can start the vehicle from your phone. You can find where you park if you forgot, and that'll be on your phone. You can lock it from your phone. You can unlock it from your phone. And there's even the Ford Pass reward points, whereby just for spending money at the dealership, you will earn points, which allow, can be translated into money to get uh, other things at the dealership and parts or service. Under general, this is these are things you'll mainly just have to choose once. So language, do you want English, French, or Spanish? Temperature, do you want Celsius or Fahrenheit? Do you want kilometers? Do you want miles? Do you like it beeping when uh, you touch it to acknowledge that you've hit something? Another important one is automatic system updates. So similar to your cell phone, the car can get updates automatically. Turn on automatic system updates to receive the latest available in-vehicle software features, enhancements, and security updates. So hit yes. Your vehicle will now check for and receive automatic system updates when connected to Wi-Fi network or Ford Pass app. So when you uh, get the vehicle home, you'll want to connect to your home Wi-Fi. So you'd be able to view for your networks, connect to home Wi-Fi, and allow for the vehicle to check for updates. So 
so you would be able to scan for updates, software updates. As you scroll down, it says it's up to date. And down the road, when you sell or trade your vehicle, you'll want to do a reset. Um, there's a master reset, which wipes out all your personal settings. So that would be your navigation settings, your phone settings. They would all be uh, cleared and go back to original factory defaults. We can also scroll across Wi-Fi. The display 911 assist when you've got a phone paired to the vehicle if in the event that you're in a collision and the driver airbag inflates your phone can automatically call 911 valet mode if you go to a place with valet parking um, by using valet mode you can enter your own PIN. It'll wipe out, it'll temporarily disable the navigation and the phone features. So the person is able to park your car and bring it back, but not able to access any further information. When you get back into the car yourself, you would put it in the same PIN and that would reactivate those features. Under navigation, you've got map preferences, route preferences, and navigation preferences. So how do you want the map to be displayed? Do you want uh, the 3D city model? Would you like breadcrumbs showing where you have been? Uh, so that's little dots all over your map. Would you like incident icons? Would you like POI icons? So you can pick and choose what sort of things are going to be showing up on there under route preferences. So right now it's set to always go the fastest route. Always use the fastest route. You want to use HOV lanes, high occupancy vehicles. If there's normally going to be more than one person in, you might want to turn that on. Automatically find parking. So if you go for uh, put in a destination, it's going to help you find locate parking. Now, sometimes people don't like driving on the freeway, so you can avoid those. You don't want to go on a toll road, you can avoid those. Avoid ferries and trains. So it's all about getting you where you want to get in the fashion that works best for you. As we go down from here, we've got the auto stop start feature, and this is a manual override. So, auto stop start deactivated by switch. Okay. Next one is your four way flashers. And then we have the camera. So, there's your rear view and what we've got behind us another Bronco Sport. Uh, seeking to the next stations and this one here. We'll turn off the screen so you can go dark right off back on and you can just have the time and date displayed if that's what you want to see now we go a little bit lower and we have our climate controls so rear defrost max front defrost front defrost the uh, air is flowing through the Upper vents, if we want to turn the air conditioning on, automatic settings, your fan, up speed up and down, the heated steering wheel, and the heated seats. So when you push it, three lights come on, that's high heat, two lights is medium heat, one light is low heat, no lights is no heat. When you're turning to adjust the temperature, look up in the screen. So that's where you can adjust it. So that was for the driver. The passenger, we've got dual. So it can be a couple degrees different from one side of the vehicle to the other. In our Badlands, this right here is a uh, wireless charging pad. So you can leave your uh, phone on there. If it's not in a case, it will uh, charge. Um, while the vehicle is uh, running. You also have the plug-ins. Your shifter is a rotary dial. 
and you do have M for manual. On the steering wheel, you've got paddle shifters. So on the right, it's the plus. On the left, it's the minus. So you can shift gears manually without a clutch. Your electronic parking brake and the auto hold feature for the brakes. So if you're in stop and go traffic and you don't want to be sitting with your foot on holding the brake the entire time, you can activate that. It'll keep the brakes on until you actually hit the accelerator pedal. Now we've got our GOAT modes. In this uh, configuration, GOAT is goes over any type of terrain. It's yet to be determined if GOAT will become greatest of all time. Now, trail control enabled. You set button. So that's when you're off road and you're going on trails. This one is your traction control uh, off switch. This one is locking in the four wheel drive. And that one is freeing up the axle. Now with GOAT, well, you're going to twist here, but look up on the dash. Normal, economy goes green, sport goes exciting red, slippery conditions blue, mud and ruts, looks like you got some mud there. From that one we go into sand and then rock crawl mode. So you can determine what conditions you're driving in and set the appropriate mode for those conditions. Now I'll go back to normal. This vehicle also comes with, or in this particular case, has the optional moonroof. So your controls are in the center above. First one will... First it opens the power shade. Then it opens the glass. Push the button on the other side for closing. And this one here, you can close the shade or open it, whichever uh, you prefer. So this has been an orientation to the 2023 Bronco Sport Badlands. Enjoy your new vehicle. I'm Jim Brickle.